Dr. Ryan Stanton. Today I want to talk about recovery from buttock implants. Uh, there's always a lot of talk about the risks and the type of implant to use, so today I figured I'd talk about the recovery process. The first two weeks is by far the most difficult period. That's the period when patients are not allowed to sit down and they don't want to sit down. That's the most painful position to be in. So therefore, I recommend every patient, unless you can work from home, to take at least two weeks off of work. Three is even better. For the first two weeks, you're only going to be sitting or squatting to use the restroom, maybe for a car ride back to the post-op appointment, and to um, for a flight back home. And I instruct patients exactly how to do that as well. And sitting up slightly to eat. As far as sleeping or resting, face down is the preferred position, but it's also okay to be on your back and kind of like the, the modified dentist chair position. Standing is okay, pacing around is okay, although I don't encourage patients to go out and take walks around the block just for exercise. After two weeks, life gets a lot better, a lot of pain goes away, and people start feeling like they're living again. You can go back to work depending on the intensity of your job and the physical demands of your job. Um, but between two and three weeks, you can finally start sitting down for 20 or 30 minutes at a time. You can maybe start driving again. And then week three comes up pretty quick and most people can go back to work after that period of time. At the three week period, the wounds have their initial strength. So this is a more safe zone to be stressing the wounds out, moving around more, sitting down more, up to an hour or two. Um, at four weeks, if you're eager to get back in the gym, it's possible to do some upper body exercises that can be done in the standing position, not the seated position. And at four weeks, you can sit as long as you want or need to. Between four and six weeks, um, basically the same limitations apply. But at six weeks, wounds have their full strength. They're near their full strength so that all restrictions are lifted. If you want to go on a hike, if you want to ride a bicycle, if you want to do lower body, leg, and butt exercises, you can. But I encourage all patients to go at it at 50%, maybe even only 30% intensity at first because your tissues are going to be very stiff from being inactive, swollen, and through the healing process since surgery. Um, once a six week period is reached, the risk of complications goes down to almost nothing, and patients finally are starting to agree with the decision they made to go through with this uh, procedure, and very few, if any, regrets at that point. And then it's a period of two, four, six months until the implants drop down, fluff out as a lot of patients have coined the term, and become perky or as projected as they're ever going to be. But again, that whole process takes six, even seven months, just like what happens with breast implants. Beyond that, the implants continue to soften and become more naturally feeling for up to a full year. Thanks for listening. Hopefully that answered most of your questions about the recovery process, at least through the first year.